What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Big update this on Harry Kane but before I crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content you want to help to support my channel then do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 19k subscribers, less than 400 subs away, any help towards that would be much appreciated. We're doing daily Manchester City transfer updates uh, throughout the summer transfer window for everybody to enjoy and I will keep you up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast. Don't forget also you can find my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. You can also find my Twitch link in the description below too if you want to go and follow me on my Twitch that would be fantastic. Also leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. This is a big transfer update so I'm going to go for it. 500 likes. Can we get that? That would be brilliant. And also don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers. Without further ado, let's crack on with this video. Let's start off with the outs and we've got an update on Gabriel Jesus. Pretty big update actually on Gabriel Jesus. Now Martin Blackburn works for The Sun, reliable with Manchester City transfer news, uh, has said that Manchester City have told Gabriel Jesus that he's going to stay. He will not be sold by Manchester City, at least for now, which I presume that means for this summer. Martin Blackburn also does add on to the article that Manchester City are also happy not only with Jesus but also their defence as well which means Benjamin Mendy more than likely will be staying and no move will be made for Nuno Mendes. So it looks like Gabriel Jesus, Benjamin Mendy, they're going to be staying in and amongst the Manchester City first team squad. Moving on to the ends, we've got an update on Jack Grealish. He's pretty quiet on the Jack Grealish front at this moment in time but the Football Insider, they've continued with their story and they're maintaining that personal terms they are agreed between Manchester City and Jack Grealish uh, and the only problem that's holding that deal up is the fee for Manchester City to agree with Aston Villa. Aston Villa of course are extremely confident that Jack Grealish will sign a new contract with them. If that does happen then Man City will not be signing Jack Grealish at least not this summer. And we are still waiting. We've still got no word on Jack Grealish's decision on whether he is going to sign a new deal at Aston Villa or not, or whether he's going to try and pursue a move away from Villa to see if he can get to a Champions League club instead with Man City, uh, of course, very keen on him. So we uh, are waiting on details on that. I imagine we'll get any decision from Jack Grealish until he's back in pre-season training, which probably won't be for another couple of weeks or so for Aston Villa. So there we go. That's the latest on them. Now... Harry Kane, let's speak about him. I did, uh, in my last update, dip in and out for Harry Kane before the news started to break uh, about Harry Kane and this front page headline that had come uh, from The Sun, uh, which is reporting that Manchester City were set to sign Harry Kane. It was going to be a deal worth £160 million. Uh, that would be the fee, and Manchester City would be paying Harry Kane £400,000 per week. So let's talk about that first, then figures. Simply not true. Uh, Manchester City will not be paying £160 million for Harry Kane. City won't be paying £160 million for, for anybody. I mean, we can go out there and sign Erling Haaland for probably £20 or £30 million less than that fee mentioned. And Erling Haaland, of course, is a lot younger than what Harry Kane is. And therefore, Man City stand a better chance of uh, having the value holding better on the player. So, quite frankly, it isn't true. Uh, if Man City are to sign Harry Kane, then obviously the fee would need to come down. Uh, and £400,000 per week. City aren't going to do that. They're not going to break their wage structure. Fairly sure Kevin De Bruyne is on, what, £325,000, per week, which would automatically make Harry Kane a new signing, the highest paid player at Manchester City. That is going to upset the dressing room. It's going to upset players because they've been there for years and years working hard and hard. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne is going to be right up there for the Ballon d'Or, yet we're not paying him as much as what we're willing to pay Harry Kane. He'd be a very unhappy player. Uh, and so it just simply doesn't make sense for City to be doing that. If Harry Kane wants to sign for Manchester City he's going to have to fit in with our wage structure which means he'd go on the pay scale at Manchester City albeit he'd still be paid a lot of money I mean if there was to say um, £300,000 per week and the fee was going to be £120 million I'd say actually that is pretty believable. £160 million pound fee and £400,000 per week just doesn't sound that believable. Uh, I find this story very interesting, though, because it is believed that Daniel Levy is starting to warm to the idea that Harry Kane could well leave Tottenham Hotspur uh, and Tottenham Hotspur could accumulate a lot of money from Harry Kane as well. And I think Daniel Levy is starting to realise, actually, that now it is 
uh, probably a really good time for Tottenham to get uh, some money for Harry Kane uh, before it ends up dipping into unfriendliness, so to speak. And uh, apparently Daniel Levy wants Harry Kane, if he is to leave, to leave on good terms because he's done shown nothing but great commitment at Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, and so, yeah. Uh, it's a bit like getting blood out of a stone when negotiating with Daniel Levy. He drives a really hard bargain. Uh, you can negotiate with him. I would say he's easier to negotiate with than I would with ADL at Napoli, for example. Uh, and so, uh, it's just, just a patient game you've got to play with him. We've seen it before. We've had it with Kyle Walker. We've got to do the same here with Harry Kane. Just keep chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. Uh, and hopefully Harry Kane will just uh, reiterate with what he said before, which is he'd like to play Champions League football he'd like to go and win trophies and he'd like to leave Tottenham Hotspur and he'd like to do it in um, as uh, a friendly a way as possible for a big transfer to go through and big transfers can happen uh, and so I think Daniel Levy will just hold hold his ground here and I think that £160 million pound price that's been named is the price that Tottenham Hotspur are looking for and we know Man City are willing to pay probably around £100 million pounds for Harry Kane so there's probably a £60 million pound, uh, leverage there for us still to try and uh, cover up for us to try and pay. Uh, I reckon if City maybe go up to £120 million pounds with some uh, obvious variables included in the details uh, of the uh, of the deal uh, and things like that, then Man City can start to negotiate that down and put in some bonuses and include this and include that. Uh, then, yeah, things like that uh, could well happen. Uh, and well, just remains to be seen. I'd be very surprised with the fee that we've been paying if we won't be paying this fee over maybe two or three years as well because it is going to be a big fee. So, for example, if it is £120 million, pounds, City might say, well, pay you 40 million pound this summer 40 million pound next summer and 40 million pound the summer after so there's continuous 40 million pounds going into the pockets of Tottenham Hotspur uh, or something like that is how the deal maybe could uh, could be worked for but yeah I think the big big news here is finally we're getting somewhere with Daniel Levy uh, which means now uh, it's all about trying to negotiate and get that price down and try and get that fee agreed which is easier said than done I think Tottenham will really drag their heels right up until that first game of the season and they'll want Harry Kane lining up for Spurs in that game against Manchester City. They won't want to sanction a sale until after that game. And I think, uh, yeah, it's all about City now working hard. If they do want Harry Kane to make sure that in the next two or three weeks, everything is in place, that we can have Harry Kane ASAP, if that is the man that Man City are looking for. Now, speaking more about this article that's come from The Sun, it's come from Clemmy Moody. Don't know too much about her, but what I do know is she's a showbiz journalist. Not too sure of what she knows about transfers and why a showbiz journalist uh, is reporting on football transfers. Uh, but people have been doing some digging and interestingly they found that, uh, I'm not sure if she's following or the representatives of Harry Kane are following her, but there's, there's something, there's a link there between Kane's representatives and the journalist and I presume this is where the story uh, has come from. And I presume there is a little bit of truth in this. I don't think everything that's been reported is the truth in this article, but I do think there's a bit of truth in there. I do think that Daniel Levy would be willing to to accept a big offer for Harry Kane. I do believe Man City are speaking with the representatives of Tottenham Hotspur and that's why Man City are so quiet. They are working on deals. They're working to try and bring Harry Kane in. They're working. If that doesn't happen, then maybe they can try and bring Jack Grealish in instead. They could do both, but it probably would need a player to leave and the player that's been spoken about is Bernardo Silva. Uh, I would feel more confident about this article if it come from someone a little bit more reliable when it comes to Manchester City transfer news. If it is going to be the Sun, then I'd prefer for it to have come from Martin Blackburn, but it hasn't. And so I'm choosing to proceed cautiously optimistic going forward with uh, with this transfer. Now, we have had other more reliable sources come out since that story came out. David Ornstein at The Athletic, for example, has said that both Man, Man City and Spurs' camp, they're surprised by this article and they're surprised that Daniel Levy would now consider selling Harry Kane. However, Spurs' stance is still the same. They won't accept anything unless a ridiculously high bid comes in for him. Uh, and TalkSport have continued to back that up as well. They're saying that no way Manchester City will be spending £160 million if they are to sign Harry Kane this summer and then we've had further reliability put on top of that as well Stuart Brennan at the Manchester Evening News has said that uh, Manchester City is complete nonsense that we will be paying £160 million for Harry Kane 
However, we are getting progress with Harry Kane and we are getting somewhere with Daniel Levy as well. That's a big hurdle. We can fully get over that hurdle of Daniel Levy and get a fee agreed with Tottenham Hotspur to sign um, Harry Kane. Then, of course, we face... Uh, it's a big transfer, so it takes time to get done. Uh, we obviously then got lots of little hurdles, things like medicals. We've got things like uh, the agreements with the player, the agents, the representatives and everything. So, lots of... There's still a long way to go with this transfer, but certainly it feels feels like if you are a fan of Harry Kane coming to Manchester City then things are heading in the right direction but I will keep you guys up to date and posted on this transfer I'm sure there'll probably be further clarification and further updates going on this in the next 24 hours going into tomorrow's video so I will see you again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update uh, do subscribe if you haven't already press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on I know you want to stay up to date with this transfer and all the other transfers involving Manchester City this summer so do subscribe it is the easiest way aiming for 19k subscribers less than 400 subs away so any help towards that would be much appreciated don't forget also you can find my social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries also, don't forget Twitch link in the description below too. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitch, that would be fantastic. Leave a thumbs up as well if you did enjoy this video. Like I said, 500 likes, being ambitious. Can we get to 500 likes for this video? That would be fantastic. So leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And lastly, don't forget also to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers. Yay or nay to Harry Kane? What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So happy JSG. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.